Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Hi you. guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about racket speed, acceleration of the racket, and power. And I want to show you a great way how you can energize and speed up your forehand without really changing the technique significantly. Now, one of the most common questions that I get asked is, why can't I hit the ball harder? Why don't I get more power? I have players who've had tons of lessons, they're training hard, they're looking at all the YouTube videos, they're videoing themselves, and the technique looks exactly like the pro that they're modeling themselves on, but they're not hitting the ball hard. And the most common reason for this is pushing and pulling. In terms of tennis, pushing is like if I'm pushing against a resistance that's in front of me. So if you think of a heavy object here, now I'm pushing that object. Pulling, I want to think of pulling from behind. And so if I was pulling from here, from behind. Now, if your stroke is predominantly pushing, then no matter how good the technique, no matter how perfect the form, you're not going to hit the ball hard. You may have consistency. You may have accuracy, but you're not going to hit the ball hard. We need to change the pushing feeling into pulling. But before we can apply pushing or pulling into your forehand, we have to know what pulling feels like. So what I've done here is I've tied some string around the throat of the racket, and I'm now going to hold the string behind me in my back here. And I take the racket back, and I'm now holding it with real tension from the left hand. I'm in my take-back position, and I'm really holding this racket in place. And now I'm trying to swing it forwards, but my left hand's got better leverage, and it's holding it in place, and I'm holding it and holding it, and now I swing. And that was pulling. That felt nothing like a careful and controlled pushed stroke. And now repeat a few times, again, really feeling that pulling sensation. And then make shadow strokes without using the string and simply try and reproduce the sensation that you had when the racket was held in place and you were having to pull it out of your left hand. You now know what pulling feels like. And if you know what it feels like, then it's much easier to actually reproduce it and put it into your game. The next thing to do naturally would be to alternate between having the pulling feeling and self-feeding and hitting with the same sensation. So I go into place here, have the racket in place. I make the pull of the stroke and I'm just gonna as quickly as possible take the string out of the way and immediately hit the ball so I have the same sensation. There should be no delay and no pause between these two feelings. Now go to the baseline and start rallying, but leave the string on the racket for a few balls so that you can go back to this strange test and check out if your stroke is a push or if it's a pull. And when you've got the feeling of pulling, your forehand will be energized, you'll hit with more speed, more power and more spin. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game. You know we love your feedback. I try to reply to every comment. And if you like my ideas on tennis, have a look at our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game with detailed scientific solutions, breakdowns, and then super simple illustrations. Everything's geared to help you to reach the best level of tennis that you can. For more personalized advice, check out what we're doing with online coaching. I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and then one-to-one -one online training. For more information on this, email me or check out the website. I hope this makes sense. Pulling the racket in this way is essential. You haven't seen a pro player that pushes the ball for about 30 years, but nearly everybody watching this video will push much more than they pull. Pull pulling into your game, start throwing the racket through the ball, and you'll enjoy a faster and more powerful stroke. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work. Yes.